actually an, an area this year that I'm going to be delving into a lot more with mums, like working super holistically with them, like on mindset, helping them find their purpose a bit more. And then looking at that physical side too, like, okay, what is feeding in here from a physical aspect? Are your hormones all over the place? Do we need to look at your nutrients, how you're eating and all of that kind of thing. But really I see it all the time. I see it with our mother's groups. We've run, I think about I think we're up to like our 13th mother's group and we have wow. on average like 15 women per group. So I don't, can't do the maths, but that's a lot of women, a lot of mums. And yeah. so we, <laughs> I can't like, do it either. Yep. <laughs> like focus groups. We see like women are telling their stories every day. And the theme is, oh my God, I was this, this person. And now I'm, I don't know who I am. Like mm. I, I'm not interested. I want to be on that leave forever. I just am so in love with my baby or, or sometimes the opposite. I, this is so unfamiliar to me, unfamiliar to me. I don't want to, yeah, I, I want to go back to work. Like, so it's like very, very, you can probably hear my toddler um, screaming in the background. That's okay. um, but yeah, so it's, it's a lot. And personally, I guess I went from being a, I guess, working in a clinic and working in a team. I had my baby and my, back then my life was a lot more simple. Um, but I just had this inner knowing coming out of the birth of my firstborn. I was like, no, nah, I need to be in this space. Oh my God, so sorry. I need to be in this space and I need to be helping other women. I just had this pull. So for me, it's been super, um, it's been an interesting time. It's been full on. I can imagine. And it has been, but at the same time, I'm so passionate about it. So it. It's like, I don't, it's not a juggling act. Well, it is in a way, but it's just like, I bring the two together. I bring business and motherhood together. And it's like, I really kind of feel in, I try and have a rule of like, when I'm mothering, I'm mothering. When I'm doing business, I'm doing business. Mm. And that's not always really straightforward. Um, but it is a rule of thumb that I try and live by because otherwise it's really, really hard to, yeah, to, to spread yourself so thin. So, Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, one common theme I see with mums in business is, is needing to be flexible. You know, I think that, I mean, I, I say this even as a, a non-mother coming into business from corporate, I was always like, I just had this weird thing that like during the hours of nine to five, I must be sitting at a desk. And I, then I've slowly, it's taken me a decade. <laughs> now I just work 24 hours, but you know, <laughs> But, but I've learned to be more flexible around, you know, I want to go to the gym at this time, or I want to hang out with my husband at this time, or I want to, you know, do whatever. Um, and that flexibility is something that I actually see mothers embrace a lot more, but probably because they have to. Oh, absolutely. And so it's not like it's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely not like, right. I'm going to work from nine till five today. And that's it. It's like you, you find the pockets mm -hmm. and when you are, as you know, like, as you know, and a lot of people listening to this podcast know running your own business, there really is, well, I was going to say there's no off time. I mean, you have to put boundaries in place, right? Mm. So it's learning boundaries and it's learning that I think as a mother as well, for me, boundaries are so important and making sure that I honor those boundaries because I've learned in the past when I haven't done that, mm. I burn out. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a great mom. I'm not a great wife I'm not a great you know just person in general when you get super exhausted um so for self-preservation reasons you know you've got to kind of put those boundaries but also lean into your flow as well which I think everyone's got a bit of a different flow so you know, um I just keep you know diving deep into my own self-development and being like well you know what do I feel feel lit up doing like and when when am I most you know um comfortable working and you know so for example like some days if I need to I'll be working at night but I don't like doing that because I'm usually pretty tired and I'm not unless I'm working to a deadline or I'm you know preparing you know um a presentation or something it's the next day like I won't do that because I know personally that doesn't work for me Mm. So um, it's finding the other the pockets of time. I think support is so, so important. I couldn't do this without a good support system. So, you know, I think relying and actually being open to receiving, I think is really mm. important. Like actually being like, yes, I can, I can do with some help. 
I'm lucky in a sense that my husband also owns his own business. He is a, um, a gym owner. So I guess we are both flexible in terms of like we set our own rules and our own hours and all of that kind of thing. And we really take care of um, the children like a lot more evenly split probably compared to a lot of, you know, um, other households. So, you know, he he has days where he, he it's his day with the girls um, and I have a quick day and then we'll swap. Um, and also we have got daycare and all that kind of thing. But we just, you know, you just make it work. Um, and yeah, just have a, a good think about your boundaries and, and what, what lights you up and how you work. And then I think you figure out your way of doing things. That's the best for you.